Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death. We're following Patrick the Monk, an unarmed build who got himself into the middle of the Civil War. And in order to even deliver a message to the Jarl, the dragon needs to be dealt with. Keep in mind we're not playing the Dragonborn, so all of this here is just an alternate uh, timeline at uh, best. I told you that I wouldn't be using any ranged weapons. Well, that is except when we're fighting a dragon. And when we're not ready to do so. I need gradual stamina regeneration. And we're just going to wait here and do our part. And let Irith um, do her job because she's actually going to do the majority. I don't have arrows, I do have bolts. She has a nice ebony bow. And ebony arrows. I am most certainly not going to go next to him. This here is the only semi-safe space on the entire battlefield. We have a fortified uh, mm, ranged armor alteration, carry weight, restoration. Well, we got everything but a ranged damage option. We deal 40 points of damage and he only has like, what, 10,000? At least we're hitting him. Iridev is doing a fantastic job in tanking him. And she even has a couple of belt scrolls. Poor little uh, soldier just got absolutely mangled, and that's exactly why we don't want to go out there. working much better than I would have expected. I bought 210 bolts because I thought this would take ages. <laughs> oh, that poor guard got downed immediately just by the breath attack. Good 
Yeah, correction, we deal 19 points of damage. Iridet seems to be downed. Oh, it's not good. Dude, if you push me out one more time, I swear. I think we're taking a potion of cleansing here. That's a lot of damage. That, that, healing poultress, restore stamina, and resist fire. Should have brought heal other to get ir Iridith back into combat. I might reconsider my statement of earlier. This might take all of the 200 bolts. Most certainly can't engage in melee combat. That wouldn't work out. Can I use Guardian Circle and just heal her? Maybe. Who knows? Now could be the right time. Guardian Circle. That heals her. And me. And everyone else. And with her being full again. She can continue to deal damage. To be honest, she's the main damage dealer, so... It's not a bad idea to have her back up. Oh yeah, so much more damage when she helps.
Cool. She's still standing. And her destruction magic actually hurts him quite a bit. Yeah, the damage drop-off, since we haven't skilled anything in archery, is 100%, almost, like, or well, 50% in this case. We deal normally 20 points of damage, but in the distance, we only deal, like, 10. He got her down again. That's unfortunate. The one thing that I could have done is I could have brought poisons with me. Because they are working relatively well. I just need to hit regularly. Do I have another heal other option? I think not. Not really. That guard is stuck. You can't really get to her in order to heal her. Alright, so he doesn't seem to breathe here. Let me continue and fast forward a bit. Oh, this is me fast forwarding a little bit. I typically don't like to heavily circle the crossbow. But this just for speed increase. We almost got him. Round 40 balls, holy. Well, talking about being successful. Couple of arrows of shock. The bones are actually quite valuable. Good, we'll grab this stuff later. And with that, we at least got our first um, ability to talk to the Jarl. We're not going to use unrelenting unrelenting uh, force as a shout. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to use yet if we're using any shout. I don't want to be using any more cross bolts in the future, so see you later. That was the only time that we did it. Any other dragon needs to be 
dealt with in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And quite frankly, I think that every other dragon would just take I way too long. In the very That's what you did, isn't it? There's only, according to the old legends, only the dragon can about? shout without training. Okay, fantastic. I'll trade that in and we continue the main quest line, the Civil War quest line. So, we have spoken with the Jarl of Winter, uh, White Run, and he basically sent us to good old Ulfric here yes. to deliver a message. I've brought a message from the Jarl of White Run. From the Jarl of White Run. I've been wondering when he'd come around. Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it, and tell him he should prepare to entertain visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of White Run in the near future. Okay, fair enough. No need to stress that too much. Uh, I would imagine Patrick here is just trying to uh, hold his hands still by his side because these are the people that killed his brothers. So no further interaction would happen. Instead, it's time for us to go to Dragon's Reach and start uh, preparing for a war by the way since i haven't specifically said it i crafted two pair of uh, spikes for the hands they will now act as weapons i enchanted the first enchantment that i did have which was chaos en uh, enchantment so they should from time to time deal extra fire damage good enough in order to deal with trolls, for instance. And if and it gives just a little bit more damage. Additionally, I am hoping that we can actually poison them. So we're going to see about that. I have a few poisons stored up in my secret stash. And maybe, if that is the case, we can actually use a few uh, poisons to make our fights easier. Won't be the best against creatures that were anyways. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Mm. Well, it would be fantastic to have Lydia at our side, but for now, Lydia, right, stay there. We're playing without a companion. This is uh, low, uh, low power uh, playthrough, so Patrick should stand on his own two feet. You've returned with my act. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Talius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. Okay, then. If you don't mind. Legus. The storm to take are it here. in force. The city walls Get down are to the front line. But this is it. We must hold the city. Now move it. Fantastic. So we're going to see a full-fledged battle for White Run. And it seems Lydia is not shy. Is getting out of there and joins the uh, combat herself. Good. Time to maybe buff up first and foremost. So a couple of things here. That and that. And hmm. I suppose that wouldn't be bad. Additionally, uh, 
I think we can even get a level 2 mage armor off. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, my stash with the poison is now gone behind the master lock. I, I've taken uh, the stash there. Uh, well, yeah, great. Well, I guess we will need to go into combat. Okay, so we're rocking 566 armor at this point. Oh, I see. Since we have enchanted the steel claws, they do not automatically come up. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay, finally. So, can we save that? But I will need to figure out how to do that later. the Empire! Come on, come on. Mass Archer fight, exactly the type of fight we're really bad at. can't go in not against that many archers even if they do not all target me <laughs> and they hit hard Okay, need to get behind cover. healing back up that that and that and besides Ah! 
Yeah, more than two or three archers just start to hurt really bad. Turn around, dude. Being attacked from behind. Yep, currently does not care at all. Wow, I have never done on such a low level. Alright, bring it on. White run is starting to lag again, that is not good. Yeah, you gotta be careful, like, unfortunately there is no consolidated push. That these guys are going in one by one. And now it almost feels like I'm the last man standing here. All of these guys are 10 levels above me. Good, 20% of the attackers are remaining. rebuff Let's see if they would start to go for my friend here. Six percent of the attackers are remaining.
Okay, one or two more kilts and we're golden. Yeah, no ranged attacks means we're a sitting duck out here. More storm cloaks incoming. Close. Oh, that felt like a real battle. We chucked through almost 20 healing potions during this. So let's report back to the Jarl. This blade, a symbol of your new station and responsibility. I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. What are the new orders? You'd be wasted as a regular soldier. I have special plans for you. You'll be of greater use to me with greater flexibility. Make your way to our hidden military camp in the Pale. Rico will have important tasks for you, and will need you when we reclaim the capital. All right. The Emperor. So we got ourselves a reward. Steel Battle Axe of Burning. Nice. Unfortunately not what uh, we can wield. So let me fix the whole weapons uh, thing and try to see if we can poison our our cestuses, the fist weapons, the steel claws. Okay, after a bit of testing, I finally got it uh, to work. Look at that, guys. We do have a weapon group uh, which allows us to basically switch all of our casting gear on and then a weapon group uh, that allows us to do the brawling. So essentially how it uh, looks like is we got our aggressive gear in one weapon group and then you can simply switch out for another group uh, switching all of the alteration cast gear in and i can even with that um, with enough magicka uh, cast transmute muscles on myself which is great because with that and our main gear rocking 230 hit points uh, we are at 500 and almost 550 damage and we get an unarmed damage bonus so we're now dealing 260 uh, since we've won all of the brawls really good i like what i'm seeing next up we need to Um, meet up here in the Pale Imperial camp. But before we do that, let's see, we still have a couple of uh, points left over. I think we can raise alteration. Oh, 
Not quite uh, as high as I wish it would be, but we're getting there. And a bit more dexterity. In terms of level up, it's Magicka again. Next time it's Strength. Uh, health, of course. Alteration. Are we... Are we saving this one for alteration 50 maybe? Ah, we're going to level up again in between. I figured out the whole ordeal about unarmed. So one-handed uh, perks do not increase it. But this here does. Precise strikes uh, increases. Akibo attacks increase, uh, increase uh, the speed as well. And Akimbo power attacks would increase our power attacks. In terms of boxing focus, the next milestone is 75. So that's fine. I think we could go for sneak and start uh, with that. That'll be an interesting one. The other alternative which I was thinking about is uh, going into enchanting. Because we have quite a few item slots that require custom and chance specifically the weapons uh, we wouldn't be able to find anything there and having better enchants would make a lot of difference so i think we're going for enchanting that enchantress inside times two then the element lore corpus lore uh, those are four well invested perks for moderately good enchantments and our gear would keep up with what we're trying to do. Alteration 50 is the next big hurdle. That would be great. We're struggling a lot with duration, so if we could get plus 50% duration, that would be fantastic, would make the build so much more fun to play. Um, we do have Metamagic Thesis here. All spells 10% less casting costs. Oh, that's great, but 75, I don't think that we're going to get there anytime soon. Expert alteration uh, would be equally good. Yeah, on 50, we're hitting a huge breakpoint. I mean, it's magic resistance one, adapt alteration and stability. Like that's three perks. So we should definitely try to push for that it would make the build substantially more tanky and i think we could uh, get a few levels out of uh, the next uh, milestone here so let's go to the next objective and do it it's true in my case oh we made our way to pale imperial camp up here and it's time <clears throat> to continue our legionnaire Something life Reporting for duty, sir. I need you to deliver some false orders to the Stormcloak commander in Dawnstar. But first, we need to get our hands on some rebel orders to make the forgeries. The Nightgate and Candlehearth Inns are frequent stops for Stormcloak runners. See if you can't convince one of the innkeepers to help you. One way mm -hmm. or another, get me those documents. But don't do anything rash if you go to Windhelm. Well, soldier, can you do this? Consider it done. The futility of their cause. Okay, we gotta find the courier. Let's check that quest. False front. Yep, we're going to Windhelm. Careful. So, have you seen any Stormclaw couriers lately? My patron's privacy. But what if his life yeah, is in danger? Sure it is. You don't fool me. All right, let's try I that again. Keep my patron's privacy. Well, if you insist. He was here, but he left. If you leave now, you can probably catch him. Or you can just wait here. He'll be back soon enough. Well, Enjoy your stay. that is good enough for me. 
So we're finding him right there. We followed the trail of this guy into the Nightingale Inn. No time to talk. Out of my way. We'll see about that. Die, dog. Somebody help. Oh, nice swing. But unfortunately not good enough. Easily dodged. Well, thank you. Very good. Let's see what you have here. Interesting. They know more of our plans than I expected. It would seem Fort Dunstad is in need of reinforcements. We'll make sure they won't be getting those. One moment while I correct some of these documents. That should do it. Make sure those forged documents get to the Stormcloak commander in Dawnstar. Mm -hmm. It'll throw him off our trail, allowing us to maneuver more freely. Mm -hmm. Good. We will need to bring it right over there and that's exactly what we're going to do and it's time to deliver the forged documents keep your eyes open is that so i don't recognize you why aren't you wearing your storm cloak colors i suppose it would be good thinking all right let's take a look ah good looks like the reinforcements for the fort are on the way we have some information about enemy troop movements as well. Excellent. It's not easy running messages, what with Imperial scouts mm -hmm. calling all over the place. Well done. Why don't you grab yourself a drink at the Wind Peak before heading back? All right then. Fantastic. Good. Time for the next step. Good job. I knew I gave the mission to the right person. All right. Reporting for duty again. Your objective is Fort Dunstad. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? Of course. I knew I could count on you, soldier. Well, the last battle was quite intense because everyone had a tendency to attack us. This time is uh, not going to be any different. Let's take a good long rest, eat something, get ready, and then we're going to Fort Dunstead. Okay. On the way to Fort Dunstead, of course, we are running into a couple of bandits. I figured might as well use that as a bit of a warm-up. Bring it on, buddy. That was stupid, shouldn't it? Walked into it. Come on, bring it on, buddy. Going to cry now, huh? True Nords never back down. No. He has skilled block. He is recovering very fast from his misses. So, yeah, got to deal with that. Finally, a solid hit. But even that got punished. <laughs> I love a challenge. Yeah! 
All right, a little bit the brute force method there. Good, we're almost done with the bandits. They would offer quite a bit of additional uh, experience and we're currently in the need of that. Still feels like we're a bit under leveled for what we're trying to do. Damage output is fine, defense not so much. <coughs> so interestingly my horse made it all the way to here. I'll scout the bandit camp and uh, redo potions and then we should be fine. So we made our way to the fort, uh, which means a little bit of that, a little bit of drinking, a little bit of eating, a little bit of continuous restoration and transmute muscles, uh, plus get the fighting equipment going and off we go. For the Emperor! Is what they were shouting whilst Patrick was calm as a cucumber. He had revenge in mind. Softly sneaking to the enemies. Oh, wow. Well. This is an archery fest once again. Let's say close the distance, we're fine, but from range we're not fine at all. Let's help our fellow comrade here. Not too late, he got bashed by that two-handed attack. Oh wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not good. Not good at all. They swing fast and have a lot of range. Regaining some stamina. We're outmatched. get these barriers here out of the way and let's try to not get continuously peppered with arrows what a bloody ma battle oh shit Okay, these mass skirmishes are up our alley. Uh, we can get into their back and just kill them. Wow, he has masses and masses of hit points. Good, that was successful. Went uh, straight through them. Problem is. We lost a lot of good men on the way. Ooh, don't want to get hit by that power attack. Unless I'm standing back like a coward and not do anything. Feels like impossible to not get hit at some point.
Why is that horse? Okay, well, that is a scu Holy, he just got his head ripped off. Trying to finish the ones that are low on health. And the ones with a bow. And the ones that are almost down. Feels like I'm a kill stealer in this battle. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Retreat. Time to regroup. Tried to dance around him didn't really successfully do so. Somehow the archers are zooming in on us. Maybe because we're not wearing any armor. I think I killed one of ours. Well, heat of the battle. Patrick is trying his best to clean up the enemies here. I think the guy's down, but thank you. Reapplying our buffs. And I believe we're done with that piece. At least I saw a 0% defenders left. There's some inside. Now I think it's vacant. It used to be a bandit camp. I mean, we cleared that on a different playthrough, but I believe with the battle going on, <clears throat> there should be really nothing left here. Oh wow, they killed the horse. Brutal. Good. Let's see what we've got. Uh, that's okay. We still want to continue with alteration. Almost there. We're keeping the perks for now because we want to level alteration to 50 and then immediately spend two perks. Good. Next step. We got a report back. Good, we arrived. We're going to hand in our orders, but we are also going to close the episode here. We successfully uh, won uh, the battle for Fort Dunstead, which is more than other legionnaires could uh, be proud of. So next up, we're going to continue the exact same quest and uh, hopefully we're going to get more forts, more battles to come for Patrick the Monk. See you in the next episode. Take care and bye bye.